So thank you so much for joining us, Mr. Maposa, for my biggest blunders. Such an honor. Um, You're scaring me, by the way. Biggest <laughs> blunders. Uh, you should have told me. I sh I'm sure I'm not, I was going to run away. I wouldn't have come. If you, I have to talk about my blunders. Yeah. But let, 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 me, try. Yes. let me try. So, so, so I mean, blunders have always, we all have blunders. Yeah. Um, and unfortunately, most of us are afraid to share them. Yeah. And what I'm asking you here is, is for you to be to be vulnerable. Yeah. Right? But I, I think all of us have been blunders. All of us, you know, most people succeed, have a bag mm. full of blunders. But before we get into the blunders, yeah. let's talk about the highlights yeah. uh, of, of your career. Uh, things that when you look back, you are proud of, that you've achieved. Um, you know, and, and then let's talk about the blunders that got you to where you are. Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. So sure, thanks very much, uh, Roch. I mean, if you talk about blunders uh, with me, you're going to need uh, uh, 24 hours of discussion. Mm -hmm. um, I'm the biggest blunder of them all. Mm -hmm. um, I am, you know, I do things. I try every day, yes. and I believe in trying. Mm -hmm. So I am that type of a guy who always. I believe that you have to be in the ring mm. to fight. Mm. And uh, standing as a spectator is not in my vocab. Yeah. I don't believe in that and I'll never believe in that. Hence, I fall every day, mm. dust off and move on. Mm. Yes, uh, out of the blunders where mm. I am today, I'm very content, uh, very, very content, very much so spiritually. Mm. Um, I'm okay. I obviously... People talk spirituality about going to church. I do attend church, yeah. but the spirituality is uh, personal. Um, I am attracted and I'm connected to God uh, through my family, whom I'm thankful to my wife, yeah. who's uh, obviously leading us in the family spiritually. So I'm good in that space. And uh, if you follow me, and you follow me my, uh, on my networks and elsewhere, you'll see that I look after my health, Physically, I don't uh, skip a week without um, doing any physical exercise. And I think it's Gary Player who has taught me uh, that through his life, the reason why he kept on and on and on and uh, looking good and strong is that uh, I, I do some lifting of some heavy stuff. Yeah. And then the body is not made to be stagnant. It's made to move. I try to jog or walk as much as possible and try to eat well there and there so that is a physical part of it mind uh, wise i do keep my you know you can feed uh, the body with exercising you can feed the spirit with praying and so forth but the biggest asset that uh, differentiates us from animals and all other animals is the mind so i work very hard every day to keep my mind uh, 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 free of uh, junk. I try as much as possible to keep my mind uh, uh, full of uh, intentions that are good. I try as much as possible to think about the world as a better place for all and uh, keep my mind uh, full of um, every human being has got uh, you know, a space under the sun and there is everything for everybody at some point in life. So my mind is positive, uh, outlook. Um, I'm a what, half full uh, glass uh, person, <laughs> um, be happy kind of a person. So on that front, I am sorted. Now you then go to the point of saying, how do you measure all this uh, mind, body, and soul into everyday, you know, process and activity. Yeah. I happen to 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 be in a good space uh, uh, currently. Um, we will talk about uh, the blunders that yeah. have uh, taken a deep and a toll in my life at some point. Yeah. But uh, presently, I'm in a good space. Yeah. Uh, my family is well. Uh, we when I say well. It's not well off, yes. it is well. Yeah. You know, well in terms of the kids uh, going to school, yeah. you know, uh, my son just completed uh, matric and studying mm -hmm. 
uh, overseas. A, overseas, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. um, in the in the U.S. as a student athlete, uh, and 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 all those uh, brought together makes the family well. We pray together. Um, I was thinking driving to this uh, particular shoot that I have tonight. I have to go to market theater with my daughter and my wife to watch a show. So that is the type of uh, teamwork that we have yeah. in the family. But then the question becomes, uh, uh, how then do you go on with life without, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the support economically? Because yeah. you, you cannot uh, do all this going to school for yeah. kids. You yeah. cannot go to market theater if you don't make money. Yeah. All right. So I keep a job. I'm a very good corporate uh, a citizen over the years i mean since i got out of the university which we'll talk about at some point mm -hmm. i have uh, never uh, been uh, outside of work um, i worked uh, for south african breweries uh, i worked for val university of technology and currently i work for kaiser chiefs uh, football club so i've i've, I've got uh, in my life uh, history, I've got uh, three companies under my belt, nothing else. Mm. I'm now 53 years old mm. this uh, year, uh, meaning over three decades of work consistently, three companies, which to me, it's an indication of staying power. Mm. I'm able to keep the job, I'm able to adapt. You know, some would call it uh, conforming, mm. you know, to, to some sort, but to me, I take it as my strength that yeah. I'm able to adapt and stay uh, longer in the job and run the full race as much as possible. Yeah. So I keep the job. I've, I've had the uh, privilege, unlike, you know, if you comparatively speaking in South Africa, you don't have lots of people with a, a reasonable, you know, living yeah. wage. So I've been able to command a good living wage that is able to take care of my my bills mm -hmm. and uh, prepare, you know, for the future so that when I depart, I don't leave bills behind. Mm -hmm. At least I leave a legacy and so forth. Mm -hmm. But but underpinning that is mainly valuing the values more than the valuables. Yeah, that is one of the philosophy that I I live with. Uh, that. Uh, uh, as long as I do good, all right, um, economy will follow me, mm. right? Mm. So I'm that type of a person that uh, blessings will follow me, mm. no matter what, as long as I do good. Mm. So I do good in many ways. As I said, I do good by doing my job that I'm assigned to do and contracted to do. And at the same time, never, never forgetting outside of the job, meaning the people that surround me, yeah, yeah. meaning the people that I can influence. I've yeah. had the pleasure of influencing a lot of people yeah. in their careers and every day getting feedback. Yeah. That makes me feel good more yeah. than earning the money. I yeah. feel good by hearing someone saying, hey, it's through your initiative and your input that I'm where I am today. Yeah. So that has been, you know, part of what uh, keeps me going at the moment and uh, also as part of the blunders that we'll talk about uh, later yeah. i have uh, not uh, abandoned uh, some of uh, the things that complement what i do on the job front i'm continuing uh, to 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 run a successful um s successful is relative as well yeah. but uh, for me it's, it's, it's successful in that I've been able to do what I like outside of the job. I'm a business developer, I'm a business networker, and uh, I run with a concept uh, of Venaism uh, as a networking uh, session platform that I create for business people and uh, for, for, for people to, to engage um, in terms of connecting and sharing you know, uh, stories of business and doing some transactions. I've had yeah. good stories of people coming to attend the network sessions yeah. and uh, meeting someone yeah. who'd make it possible for their uh, child to get yeah. into the university. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've had people coming to the network, coming through to exchange a business card 
and getting a transaction mm. that would make them, you know, um, have business going mm. on and mm. and uh, getting uh, mm. some money and growing their business. Yeah. Some people would have been in our space, not directly getting a transaction, but through, you know, the energy that uh, fills mm. our platform yeah. and the encouragement that they get from other people sharing their stories as to how they started the business and stuff like that. Yeah. And we are able to get feedback that, hey, since I attended your network, I'm able to see yeah. through difficulty. Yeah. I'm yeah. able to do things and thank you for that yeah. uh, platform. I'll be back again. I'll call someone else yeah. to come again. Yeah. And then, yeah, I still impact. Uh, I, I have passion for youth. Yeah. So youth is my passion and youth via education. Yeah. So I still engage uh, with a number of people um, who are involved in space of growing young people. You talk about uh, people like Wotabo Masombuka, mm, the, mm. The, the, the chairperson mm. of uh, Construction mm. Sita. We've got mm. Caleb Makuela, mm. the guys who are running graduate development programs internationally and stuff like that. And Rosh, I've got you <laughs> as well, you know, uh, sharing this good uh, yeah. A platform of uh, 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 blunders uh, that uh, Simpua Masiza. Sim, Sim Masiza is one of the uh, my my success stories yeah. in life because Simpua Masiza currently uh, uh, running EmpowerWorks, which is very very successful, humongous, doing great things. I met Simpua many years ago. I think back in two thousand and four. What? 2002. And uh, by that time, I mean, we were still talking, me and him, about tabalization, <laughs> you know, ratabalaza song and stuff like that. Simpio was still finding his feet and doing talks out, bring him to the university to do things and stuff like that. Today is a grown entity. Mm. I mean, just recently, I saw his uh, company, uh, EmpowerWorks, moving from Horton to run back <coughs> to what they call Empower. A, a house, mm -hmm. a power works house. So mm -hmm. you can see the growth is exponential with the guy. Mm -hmm. He's growing very well. And many other yeah. individuals yeah. that I can pinpoint that have gone on yeah. to do great things. Yeah, I mean, I think I've shared this with you the last event. Um, the impact that Vinazim has had. I mean, I've known you, what, over 15 years now? It's yes. been quite some time. Um, and you come from the school of Jumpstart. We yes. To, we used to call it Jumpstart. Yes. And yes. We, yes. we used to, to, to phrase it that way. And we yeah. intentionally uh, put it uh, to, at the beginning of the year. Yes. As saying to people, yes. come on together. Yes. Let's see how we can, you know, put on, you know, Jumpstart. Spot on. on. Yeah. And, I mean, I remember, you know, as I was saying that at your event that... Uh, I had left Deloitte's, yeah. um, finished my MBA, left Deloitte's, very aspirational, mm. confident that I'm going to go start my own thing and run it. This was 2008. Yeah. Uh, entrepreneurship, being entrepreneurship showed me flames. 2010. <laughs> you know, I won't remember that because 2009, like things just went south. Yeah. I uh, lost a big client, which, you know, I put all my eggs in one basket. Did this project, uh, it was a government thing, um, hope of renewal, mm. you know, renewing the contract, it never happened. Yeah. So, early 2010, I'm sitting there, I don't have money, I haven't been paid, I think at the time, I was owed by the government for the project that we did. Um, spend the Christmas festive season broke mm. and yeah I'm sitting there I'm like you know now what do I go back mm. or you know what do I do because this thing failed mm. and you we, we were like busy organizing a job because it was in the beginning of 20 years yes, yes so you were organizing job start and we were using our offices and in Pretoria in Pretoria, Pretoria. Centurion. Centurion, yes. Yes. And I am depressed. I mean, that whole week, I'm like, Saturday comes, and you're like, uh, Lida, we, we are still on. 
<laughs> I'm like this guy. I'm like this guy. <laughs> you know, the whole week, I'm, you know, not going out, not opening curtains, you know. And I'm like, okay, fine. I will. I promised. I can, you know. So I said, okay. The plan in my head was, I'll open for you guys. I'll open for you, and then I'll go back. Because depression does that. Too. Yeah. You yeah. know, when you are going through a difficult phase, I'll go back and I'll sleep. Mm -hmm. And then you will call me when you are done. You'll come back. And I'll come. So, so the idea was, I'll come up with an excuse why I have to leave. Yeah. So I don't stay, so that I can just go and wander. And then ah, you were there, but Mike when Danny was there. I'm sitting there, I open, set you guys up. And then I'm like, okay, let me not leave. Let me wait for other people to come. And I'll sneak up. Yeah. People come. Mika also yeah. came. Uh, I'm sitting there. I'm like, I am not going anywhere. And he started speaking. Pramek was speaking. I stayed there the whole event. And, and for me, that was the turning point. Mm. Because after that event, I was energized. I was motivated. I didn't know what I was going to do then. Yeah. But I knew that you know what, after that session, um, you know, I can do anything. Um, and, and the reason why this stands out is because I've never really had other similar events mm. like that, yeah. you know, where it really spoke to me uh, personally. Um, and, and where we are now. I mean, this was 2010. Wow. We are in 2014 now. 14 years on, I'm still going because... Because that event actually was a was a defining moment for me. So I wanted to use this opportunity to thank you. Yeah. <laughs> to give you the flowers. Because you and Brahmai, you know, um, did something. And I always say to entrepreneurs, um, you're gonna go through blunders. I went through a blunder at that time. Mm. This was 20, 2009. I went through a blunder. Um, and I think what pulled me out was the association, being in the room with other like-minded people. Like you, like like Pramik, uh, and that pulled me out. Had I wallowed in my by myself in my own mm. space, I wouldn't come out, mm. right? Um, and I always have been encouraging entrepreneurs that when you blunder, you make a mistake. Emotionally, you go through and to a depth, and you don't. It's very difficult to pull yourself out yeah. by yourself, right? So you need other people. Like you're in a pit. Mm. You need other people to extend their hand and pull you up, which is what you guys did. Now, when you talk about that, you're getting deep now into philosophies <laughs> of succeeding. Yeah. I mean, let me just borrow from what uh, you faced at the time yeah. and what you just explained now. Mm. Um, I just want to highlight uh, the fact uh, that the conversation changes when you are with winners. Yes. It's a life principle. If you are with winners, conversation changes. Mm. You are with losers, it goes south. Mm. You get into our environment, and unfortunately, as black people, and this narrative has been uh, expressed eloquently by many gifted people, they, they pull him down as mm. sy syndrome is part of what we are experiencing in life. The crap mentality mm. of when you talk about pulling yourself out, I'm thinking yeah. of while you're trying to pull up, other people pulling you, you down. down. Yeah. I mean, all those uh, um, nuances uh, that we face every day, they really, really cause, you know, a stampede in, in our psyche yeah. as a people. Yeah. So I am asking, and I use this platform once more yeah. to say that uh, when you obviously go with... Uh, the kind of uh, uh, beds that uh, are similar with yours. I mean, people talk about uh, beds of same feather flock mm. together. You will go that route. And um, if you stick with losers, um, you will mm. never, you'll unlikely to win. Yeah. I mean, because, because the space that you, you're navigating in, the platform and the sessions that you attend to, they talk about uh, uh, people, they mm. don't talk about ideas, mm. you know. So um, I, I, I am glad that you found yourself in a space of Jumpstart and we're continuing to, to pursue that uh, through uh, Venaism now mm. uh, to create a, 
a safe space for people. You know, I just had a discussion now uh, via text as I was uh, sitting waiting for, for this discussion, someone saying that, um, you know, it was just a greetings, but I pitched a question to say, look, where have you been? Uh, we miss you. Please appear at our session. The guy says, no, business is not well. You know, I haven't been b making money. I said, no, but it is exactly where you are. Exactly. Where we yes. need you yes. at our session. I wish I could at, speak to exactly. that. Exactly. At, at our sessions, yeah. we're not looking for people who are successful. Yeah. Yeah. We're not looking pe for people who are doing well. We look for them to come, yeah. to attend, and inspire those that are not doing yeah. well, that those that are facing challenges, those that are going through the deep. And yeah. that is what uh, yeah. Vinaism yeah. is all about. Yeah. And I thank you for the flowers. <laughs> yeah. I'll take them home and yeah. I'll report back home that we've really changed the uh, uh, lives of someone, yeah. uh, a life of someone. We've had uh, many people talking the same story. You had uh, Patrick Idiale, mm. um, he's mm. also mm. a scholar, he's mm. also an MBA guy, he's running a successful machining business in, um, um, in, 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 uh, in the East End. And he shared the same story mm. that he's been through the journey with us, and uh, today is uh, comfortable yeah. to say he's running a yeah. successful business. So, so there's this picture I took, mm. I think with Pramai. And so I look at that picture now. I look at it, I'm like, I was depressed, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, like, like, I'm sure I've got a set of yes, other pictures yes, for that occasion. Yes. And by the way, those that are not aware, we're talking about uh, Mike Muendani, yes. he's a gifted yeah. uh, speaker and motivational yeah. Uh, speaker of note and yeah. he's been around for many years yeah. and uh, we've uh, learned a lot from yeah. him in our group and network of people. Uh, most of the concepts and ph philosophies, mm -hmm. uh, black consciousness mm -hmm. that we follow, it's uh, through him. And I was actually person. invited. Was yeah, invited. definitely. Yeah. He, he must be next after yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. No, I will work on it. So let's talk yeah. about the other side. Now, this is serious. <laughs> this one we have to sit. We have to sit. Seriously, we have to because uh, people are going to fall, you know, uh, from their chairs. Um, yeah. yeah, blunders. Yes. Yo. Um, no, that's serious. I know you have a bag full of them. This is bag. We'll have to select. <laughs> uh, we'll select, of course, and then um, obviously in the second edition, yeah. I will pick up yes. on others. But yes. okay, my story starts uh, with growing up in Mavupani. I grew up in uh, what uh, is often called dusty streets um, of Mabupane, but I don't remember much dust in my street, <laughs> though we didn't have a tar road. But uh, Mabupane was under Puputazwana, right? Puputazwana, yeah. it was very beautiful yes. Uh, yes. growing up in the township. I obviously, uh, your family background would obviously dictate uh, uh, and be defined as a as a status uh, in the community. My mother's kitchen worker, good kitchen, he yes. called it at that time. And my father was a garden boy also, yeah, so that's how I grew up, a, a brother, two brothers and a sister. And um, currently, as we're speaking, um, they made their souls rest in peace, left with one brother. Oh. And um, yeah, we, we've got uh, nieces and nephews that uh, we're looking after and enjoying a uh, family life uh, together. So that's how I grew up. And um, But but the, the, the very unique story about my growing up that I never uh, forget to raise when I get an opportunity is that uh, for Ever since I've been growing up, my cycles have m mistaken me for doing well or coming from a well-off family because yeah. of my projection and yes. the way I portray myself. Yes. Even today, I mean, uh, if uh, you ask anybody within my space, they would position me and at the status of yes. uh, people who are, are well-off yeah. because I, 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 I project... Uh, you know, a, a assuming status and uh, appearance mm. of, 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 of positivity. Mm. So that's how I grew up in the township. Everybody thought, this guy, 
Yeah, and because I always dressed. His too, boy. I always dressed neatly. Yeah, you know. Uh, for some reason, I've never been a guy who dresses expensive, yeah. you know, kind of label and so forth. Uh, but once I got money, I'll definitely buy. I want to buy myself a belt that has got a label at some point. Yeah. I've never dressed up, <laughs> you know. So I, I, I've never, I've never had a chance of that. But meaning, there's nothing wrong with yeah. uh, that uh, if you can afford it. Yeah. So I've always been neat. I've always been the a PEM guy. Yeah, you know, yes. I've, all, I've done the Afros. I've done all sorts of yeah. uh, neat uh, kind of, of, of stuff. <clears throat> okay. So we growing up. I had lots of friends there. Stan Sanyan is a doctor now mm. doing well. Um, we've had many others in the, well, I played football and uh, religiously slow is I'm one of those guys who woke up, slept football. You know, uh, played it at school as well. I was athletic at school. I was on the track. I was very good and stuff like that. So go, growing up, one thing that even today, mm. I still will never forget. I'll go down with that. I was an A-grade kind of student mm. in school. Mm. I, was a, I was one of the guys of the I class. remember. You know, those times when you had teachers that, uh, um, I had a teacher called uh, uh, Maswangani, you know, he used to uh, segment, uh, you know, kids or learners in the class and would refer, you know, to me and other guys as his guys, you know, because we kept to the book, we did homework and we got uh, good grades and stuff like that. So I was very, very uh, smart in the yeah. class. All right, um, but it went pear shaped at when it mattered most. Um, should I have, should I have aced my metric? I think I wouldn't be sitting here talking <laughs> blunders now. That was a turning point because I couldn't get a metric certificate that would enable me to register for becoming a medical doctor, for example, mm -hmm. was one of the things that were popular, you know, so I get into perhaps vets uh, at the time, get into engineering. So I got the, what we called it a D symbol or something mm. that was not enough to get you entry mm. at the big uh, institutions. Uh, uh, but, but, but as I am even today, you know, I always uh, explored alternatives. I always looked at never give up a kind of person. And um, I took that and um, I didn't have funds from home, you know, to put me through a tertiary education. So <clears throat> I remember if you know Pretoria and you know Mabupani, you'd know Block B and you'd know where Mabupani station mm. is there by Central City. Mm -hmm. I would pick up, I had a big uh, traveler's bag, a brown one, got uh, all my clothes in, packed them all, got, you know, walking from that. I think now that I'm doing distance running, I'm, I can mm. think of it as no less than 10 kilometers <laughs> walk, you know, from my home to, to Central City, um, if not mm. uh, eight kilometers or so. So I walked, got into the taxi, <clears throat> went to then called Petersburg, and now we're talking about Bolokwani. Bolokwani, yes. Yeah, went to Tafliop, but now you call it University of uh, Limpopo. Mm. Got there, stood on the queue of uh, people uh, applying for bursaries and loans and stuff like that. Got the Italian embassies. Uh, at that time, you had lots of embassies uh, supporting mm. education, yeah. uh, you know, international world uh, through obviously politics of the day, uh, supported a lot of black uh, people in education. Got myself some some funds and uh, started studying there. And, um, and because I was uh, into science, I was inclined and biased into science uh, through my schooling era. And then I got into uh, BSc in education, and um, that was um, early 90s. Got into BSc in education and um, done a bit fairly well, 
but like you at your point of uh, yeah. deep, I was depressed. I was not uh, a happy fellow yeah. because I was looking back too much. And I want people today through that experience to avoid a rear view mirror because it doesn't lead you anywhere. You know, uh, focus and look forward and try uh, to to have have an open view of of of, of the road. Mm -hmm. So hey, it was difficult here. Yeah. Was this because of the metric, the disappointment of the metric results? Look, I wouldn't have found myself there if I did well in metric, mm. number one. Mm. So then you get into an institution which was um, yeah. not fertile yeah. uh, ground uh, for, for science studies. It was mainly good for political studies. Yes. Many, many of our yeah. legal Eagles come from, from there, the, yes. at, at Tef uh, mm -hmm. You get many lawyers who come from there. It was a very, very yeah. a, a good ground for practicing legals because uh, when you think of it, legal and politics yeah. intertwined in a way. Got lots of politicians uh, uh, emerging uh, from uh, Tef So the environment was not conducive mm. now that i know the language of teaching and learning mm. it was not conducive for 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 learning and uh, the science yeah the yeah. sciences mm. and we had uh, stories of lecturers i mean those that studied um, and uh, watching this podcast will mm. know the story of the chemistry lecturer called disatoa the lady who would uh, claim and make it categorical in the uh, orientation that uh, you are black people and just one out of ten of you you'll pass my subject. Sure. So we come from that era. So it was very difficult. And going back to the dormitories, you get now a roommate of a a student who's coming from a well of family, mm. and you scratch him through every day to survive. Mm. Uh, mm. And uh, obviously, kudos at that time. I. My brother, uh, Phil, who's still with us now, um, was able to, 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 you know, to carry me mm. through the university. Uh, but the funny part is that he was also uh, still earning as a Bazaar student, but he take from his money, wow. you know, to give yes. me some money to, to survive at, at, at school. Boom! While busy uh, grappling with survival and the social a part of uh, being at the university, um, it was a haven for for riots. Yes. Um, it was at the time yes. when we were getting uh, towards uh, uh, Nelson Mandela, the icon, the yes. late Utata. Yes. At that time, was uh, towards it was the up, upheaval now towards his. Uh, when was this? Eighties? No, that that is nineteen ninety. Oh yes, this yes, is yes, 1990. yes, 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 yes. That's yes, yes. when I was at the temple. Yes. Yes. So two minutes, uh, you pack your bags. The university is closed. Get in a taxi. Get back to Pretoria. When you land in Pretoria, the university is opened. You have to go back to temple. You're struggling with taxi fares. Uh, remember for starters. So the studying was not smooth. Mm -hmm. That is temple. The following year bombed out of the, yeah. the institution, went back uh, depressed as, uh, as, 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 yeah. as part of it. Uh, where you, you know, in your community as a symbol um, of, 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 of success, people look up to yeah. you, you went to the university, here you are back in January, you're not uh, making a move back to the north. What's going on with this guy? But um, as uh, solid as I've been, um, just looked at uh, other possibilities. Then we had uh, technical Northern Transvaal. Yes. Um, now you call it TUT, TUT. in Soshangube. And uh, <coughs> again, at the time it was TNG. Yeah, uh, TNG. Yeah. TNG, yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, TNT. TNT, yes. 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 Technical Northern Transvaal. Transvaal. Yeah. So we go back now to it and um, apply to study. Uh, still, I wanted to be around the sciences. Went on to do analytical chemistry. And if you check T and T or T U T in Soshanguve, block B where it is now. And the uh, same story. Had to walk now to classes every day from the B to Soshanguve. I did that and uh, through with other friends who would walk. 
you know how, how you know no the no that's a that's a cool six kilometers one way one way going to school <laughs> so you do 12 k's a yeah, day yeah so so if you had uh, money it, you needed two taxis to go there, mm. if you had money mm. because you take a taxi from uh, Mabupani to 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 um uh, Soshanguwe mm. and uh, get from Soshanguwe somewhere and, yeah, and connect. Yeah, so that, uh, that's the story. Mm. Got there, done that, uh, finished my course there when I got uh, my, uh, what we called it T1, T2, T3, T4 and stuff, got my T4. Couldn't get the internship uh, for analytical chemistry. Instead, I got internship uh, to do electric, to convert mm. to electrical engineering. Right uh, through South African breweries, yeah. so that was the turning point in terms of my career. So now I get into uh, artisan uh, yes. training, yes. Uh, SAB. Life is getting cool now. Mm -hmm. Buy my first car, and I mean SAB was a very cool company. Very cool, yeah. very cool, very yeah. cool. We got some packs of uh, beers every month to take <laughs> home. So that attracted a lot of friends uh, to, to, to my home. Making beer, right? making friends. Ex exactly, <laughs> exactly. So now we got into that space and um, time went uh, by, finished uh, um, a training with SAB. Um, it was the one in Bukutatswana called UB, United yes. Brewers, yes. because of the, the structure yeah. of uh, business at that time. You had the ones belonging to the independent states and stuff like that. So to move on very fast is that uh, we got into that training. I passed my artisanship. I got uh, my diploma in electrical engineering and I got my wireman's license, if you understand mm. that lingo of um, um, uh, engineering, engineering and technician yes. level. So I was proper. I was proper. And uh, boom, when um, UB was um, uh, swallowed into Roslyn, um, those that we were in yeah. training couldn't get uh, um, appointments at Roslyn and we were laid off and then got back home. Now this is interesting time that I had in my life and I will never forget this moment. So when we got laid off, I decided I'm not going to jump into the next opportunity. I'll take time off to now reflect and have an opportunity to, to think through my life. Right? During that time, I started a spaza shop. <laughs> okay. Yeah, in the backyard. I yeah, sold cool drinks, uh, wow. sold uh, vegetables. And by the way, I didn't share with you that as I was going up uh, before finishing matric, how to, I continued to sustain uh, my life uh, with a uh, little money that came from my home. I did, uh, I was a vendor for the neighbor who sold uh, chicken feet. So we sat in the yes. parking uh, on the back, going around the streets, Boop, 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 selling chicken, you know, Mautuan and stuff, Lady Claw. I've done that. I've sat at the bus stops. Yes. As a vendor selling spinach for another neighbor who was also doing vegetable work. Sat oh, in the freezing, raining, cold. There was a bus stop that was lucrative there. People coming out of the buses would buy spinach and all that. And you'd have uh, uh, compete uh, with uh, other vendors on checking and mm -hmm. you get uh, some uh, reward of some vegetables to take home and just some few rents to to look after yourself. Mm -hmm. So I've been in that. I've seen that space mm -hmm. and um, I've struggled through that space. Mm -hmm. So now I did spaza shop mm -hmm. um, and at that time my mom um, was no longer working I at home, so yeah. she'd assist me by uh, sell sweets and stuff like that. It was a cool moment of transformation, mm. of making me aware of surviving, mm. you know, mm. uh, on your own, you mm. know, as what today is popularly known as mm. entrepreneurship. Yes. We practiced it uh, then, um, yeah. uh, better at a time. Mm. So then six months went, then oh, it was not obviously adequate to can. Uh, start one mm. into 
a sustainable, mm. you know, uh, uh, form of uh, going forward with yeah. life. Started applying for jobs and stuff like that. Got two jobs at the same time, one at Eskom, one at Val University of Technology at that time was called Val Triangle yes. Technicon. Yes. I, I chose Val Triangle Technicon purely because of what I said. My passion for developing people, um, teaching, it's, it's weird. You know, as the saying goes, you can uh, take a teacher out of teaching, but mm. you cannot take teaching out of yeah. a teacher. Yeah. So the, that in itself persuaded me to go to the bar. Um, I, 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 I don't know if that uh, decision was correct. Um, I don't know if I had gone through uh, ESCOM, took the job at ESCOM, where I would be today. But as I said, through faith, I believe that uh, yeah. the decision was purely um, advised by the Holy Spirit yeah. to say, go for this one. This is the better place for you. And I don't regret that uh, yeah. uh, at all. Yeah. So I went on to, 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 to the Val. I must say, um, my stay at the Val Triangle Technical, now Val University of Technology, was eventful. Mm. Um, I grew a lot, um, of course, including getting married to Halloween. Yes. <laughs> you know, it's a part of growth. Uh, but but, but let's, let's look at it this way. I worked at the Val University of Technology uh, for a cool... Um, for a cool 15 years. Mm. Um, through that 15 years, I believe uh, the biggest blunder uh, that I'll take home today and I'll take it uh, uh, to, to my last breath is that I had an opportunity uh, to, to study mm. further. Um, being in, an, in a university environment for that time access to 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 education um i i i i have a regret that i would now be at the highest level of qualifications you can find mm -hmm. all right um being me i still parallel to that blunder of not achieving the highest of the qualifications that mm. would have been easy for me mm. to achieve. I still um, made inroads in the university. Um, I still, today, even when you go back, I still meet students who came through uh, my ranks, uh, my facilities that I, I ended up running what we call uh, cooperative education. Yes. Um, popularly known with the provision of in-service training, work integrated learning. Mm -hmm. I had lots of students that I pushed uh, through that system mm -hmm. and simply because of the administration, you know, and the quality management that I had set up at the university, mm -hmm. uh, which also attracted national government. I ended up having a, a role to play nationally as a, as a mm -hmm. kind of advisor to many other universities how to, yeah. to, to, to process and how to, to, to manage the system of uh, merging uh, academia with uh, workplace. Yeah. So um, I'm happy with that, but I regret the fact yeah. that I personally, I didn't uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, drive myself to the edge of gaining uh, more qualifications. I, I got involved and thoroughly so, and maybe this is the kind of person I am, and I get immersed into uh, certain situations, I give my all. So I got myself into the politics of the university. I got into the university in uh, around 1996, and it was at the apex of the transformation. Transformation, yes. In the tertiary education sector as a whole. In the country, yes. Baal had all its own dynamics in terms of uh, the fair ground, uh, uh, you know, Feriena Heng and Van der Bell Park, and the uh, majority of the students were at some point, uh, you know, dominated by white folks, and there were still black people coming into 
playing in the So it was still team. predominantly so it was war. Yeah. It was war. Yeah. So I got into there. And as a staff member, I got through the politics of uh, unions, became an uh, activist in the uh, Nehau mm. uh, as a union, and then I got into the councils of the university, mm. Mm. Um, got involved in, in the highest levels of the university, and uh, thoroughly so. Mm. I, uh, with Caleb uh, Makuvela, I mentioned mm. earlier on, who's uh, doing well now with graduate development. Renale Bole Shoma Ramajwe, we had Rose Kingsley, we had Bolang, mm. we've got uh, Bo Lawrence Cork. We are a lot of us in that uh, kind of mixture. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's how I impacted the university, formed part of a uh, uh, growing uh, a, a division that became successful getting through lots of students who went on to become successful. I meet them today, you know, in as big uh, shots, CEOs of companies, engineers and stuff like that. And then I look at the university was transformed uh, when I left. Uh, it had a good balance uh, representing demographics and stuff like that. So that, that, that is packed, you know, from, mm. from that uh, which was supposed to be a planned uh, of uh, mm. taking a career move that you were not sure of, that you were not sure you'd make it mm. and so forth. Yeah. It became, at the end of the day, a good story. Mm. And that's what uh, gives me, you know, mm. fulfillment. And mm. as I said, I'm content. Mm. Uh, fast track, uh, leaving the university, I got into the business of football. Mm. Remember, as a youngster, I told you that yes. I lived the soccer. Yes. So going into football had nothing to do with my career. Nothing at all, mm -hmm. pure nothing. It was simply a psychological edge that uh, fulfilling a certain part of my brain, mm -hmm. something that I loved, and I got an opportunity to be invited to be involved in, and I'm still involved in mm -hmm. it. In that process, I had seen many sleepless nights where I would question myself <laughs> why did i why did i put myself through that because yeah football especially working for big teams like big brand, team, yeah. it's all about winning and supporters mm. get angry mm. you know mm. uh, when you're not doing well and stuff like that so um i have not uh, decided whether it was a blunder or yeah. not to get into football. Yeah. Time will tell, and I'll tell that uh, story another day. Yeah. Yeah. But um, all this is happening in the midst of transactions, uh, looking after your family, mm. finances. Mm. You, you, you leave the job at SAB uh, where you got a allowance every month, you have a spaza shop where you're not certain of uh, what mm, uh, profits you. you're mm. going to make. And then you go into university um, uh, environment, which is not comparative. If you think of the industry and uh, big companies, SABs, SAB as it was, and getting into education, which is a public sector would not uh, remunerations would not that be that big and stuff like that. But I always had um, a way out. Mm. While I was at the university, looked at uh, saying, okay, given that I'm able to get this kind of money and salary, how else do I make some money out of uh, you know doing something else? that would not interfere with, with my work. Then I started public speaking, yeah. started uh, consulting as a workshop uh, facilitator, um, got contracts. Uh, the biggest I ever had was with the, uh, the USAID uh, TELP uh, tertiary education linkages project, TELP yeah. 2 project. Yeah. I was facilitating um, what we called uh, uh, capacity building um, at uh, previously disadvantaged uh, institutions. Um, I enjoyed at that moment. It was uh, rewarding. I would go to all the universities, uh, black uh, institutions to run workshops and, and uh, mostly were successful. All right. 
And then at the same time, we had the you know, organization that is still there even now, the Southern African Society for Cooperative Education, SASKI, which I became a member of. I, according to the executive, I become a secretariat of the organization, I think four times in a row elected, and it was fulfilling as well. Got um, us activities to to travel the world. I mean, mm -hmm. I've been um, throughout the world. I mean, Asia Pacific, uh, Aust Australia, New Zealand. Been to Austria. Mm -hmm. You know, um, been to the U.S. many times, mm -hmm. and um, uh, been to the Netherlands many times. Mm -hmm. And then through that, Saski, then I was uh, at some point nominated and elected to be on the World Association for Cooperative Education. And uh, yeah, you know, rubbing shoulders mm -hmm. with big boys mm -hmm. from other universities internationally, mm -hmm. um, conferencing all over the world and speaking at a big conference. So the blunder of not achieving the education I desired at the highest level was compensated by the activity and the impact that, that I made at the university not only at the Val University of Technology, but in South Africa at large, as well as in the world through the concept of cooperative yeah. education. Yeah. So, so that, that has been um, um, my story yeah. uh, uh, at yeah. the Val University of Technology. I got into the business of football, and I, I ne in the business of football doesn't allow much time to engage in, in, in business. Mm. So I designed what a, I do now in Vina, with Vinaism as a platform for B2B uh, kind of uh, business as well as developing people to get into businesses. And um, it is going fantastic at the mm -hmm. moment. Mm -hmm. I have uh, the platform running on a monthly basis uh, and every day I do have activities uh, that I do yeah. uh, on one-on-one -on -one with companies and people. Yeah, so that is sure. the... The, the, the story, yeah. and um, I, I, I believe uh, that today um, I've done disservice to lots of people, not to me only, that I don't have a title on the shelves at uh, Exclusive yeah. Books. Yes. Yeah, so, yes. so I, I shed a tear, you know, when I think about that. Mm. It's frustrating me. I've done lots of manuscripts about it. Uh, but I've always gotten interrupted some 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 way. So that is uh, uh, my next uh, project uh, to tell the stories, uh, you know, on, mm. on on pages so that people can read and see that what they see every day, see a person on TV mm. um, talking on TV, appearing in front of big crowds in the stadiums and working for a big club like Kaiser Chiefs, it is uh, through sweat. Yeah. Yeah, it yeah. is sweat. Uh, um, it is not a joke uh, when they say without uh, pain, there is no gain. Mm. So it is hard work. It is um, resilience mm. and dedication every day. Mm. And I must say, people must realize one thing, that you are as good as... Uh, your last performance mm. in everything that you do. Mm. So you cannot uh, uh, obviously dry, you know, uh, uh, today's washing with yesterday's sun. Mm. So you cannot say mm. yesterday I did well, so today I relax. Mm. Mm. So until you retire, until you get out of the business that mm. you're doing, mm. you have to knuckle down the lights are every on. day. The yeah. lights are on you. On, mm. on you all the time. Mm. And when you talk about lights are on, the status that you occupy at the highest level, it is just uh, it must be an inspiration for you mm. to help others mm. to come mm. up. Mm. Mm. Because it goes without doubt that when these flashlights are dimmed, mm. the red carpets mm. are rolled, microphones are switched off, you'll be on your own. Mm. So on your way up, take others up with you. So where I am now, I'm battling with making sure that I help the next generation to come through 
and see the light mm. and uh, work the uh, carpet. better yeah. nation together. Awesome. Um, sure. I mean, I have one or two questions quickly. How, how do you overcome this <laughs> regret or I didn't get the right metric results I wanted? How do you come out of that? You know, I mean, you, you inspire other people yeah. to come out. You inspired me to come out. How do you inspire yourself to come out? The, I have this frustration every day, you know. I get to the traffic light, I get to the shop, and I listen to these guys saying, hey, Joe, you inspire us. I open the, the WhatsApp. I mm. mean, there's lots who, mm. uh, through work in football, which swear at you and tell you how useless you are and stuff yeah. like that. But you meet this guy saying, my bra, mm. my bra, you mm. helped me a lot. Mm. And I say, did I really help this guy? Mm. Um, I wish I could have done more, mm. you know? So I've not um, scratched the surface and, and um, Dr. Kaiser Mutawun puts it eloquently, uh, you know, about uh, him um, with uh, his work with Kaiser Chiefs that way, yes, where people believe he has achieved and so forth, yet he thinks he has not yet scratched the, the surface. So that's where I am at the moment. Um, I overcome regret by being open-minded and uh, looking at uh, alternatives all the time mm -hmm. and not being one-dimensional um, and multi-disciplined. Um, uh, I always uh, seek opportunities where I can plug in. Mm -hmm. I always, um, you know, under the most strenuous, um, you know, uh, situations, I always um, focus on yeah. what uh, solutions yeah. um, might be. So that has been the nature. And uh, it's a gift I have. Um, I, do, I do deliberate and intentional um, exercises to navigate myself mm. through turmoil. I, I would take up uh, 40 days of uh, fasting. Mm. Yeah, I would take up um, um, a, a week-long program of uh, uh, staying away from drinking alcohol. Mm. Mm. And um, Okay, yeah, so you have this shock. I, 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 you shock your body yeah, out of my the, body and yeah. say, deliberate and intentional. Yeah. So I am very, very clear with that. And I, I propose to anybody facing challenges yeah. that sitting back and saying, I'm challenged and uh, it's hopeless yeah. and so forth, yeah. will not get you out. out yeah. What will get you out is you getting out to meet people, yeah. the right people, yeah. to network with people, yeah. to go to, 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 to observe your, your spirituality, yeah. whichever way, yeah. and um, be it ancestral, mm. be it... Um, religion or whatever, go out and manifest that in reality that mm. I am doing this. Go to people. Mm. Uh, Barack Obama talks a lot about uh, it's not uh, being uh, stupid to ask what you don't know. Yeah. It is, in fact, very clever yeah, to ask yeah. what you know because yeah. you will end up knowing. Yeah. So I, I am from that school. I deliberately follow the gifted people uh, on a daily basis as your 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 T D Jakes, Joel Osteen, mm. out uh, to Musa, Musa, mm. Musa Sono, mm. um, and, and stuff like that. And uh, when you talk about philosophy, I would read. I'm a student of Stephen Covey. Yeah. You know, I I go as far as um, philosophers uh, Abu Franz uh, Fanon, Fanon yes. and I believe in the generational yeah. uh, mix. Uh, yeah. uh, 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 a quote yeah. of him that uh, me and you where we are now you know we've got a very big responsibility mm -hmm. you know of um, either betraying or fulfilling yeah. you know the, yeah. the mission that is yeah. put upon us um, so we I, I, I that's how I survive every day yeah. I wake up intentionally and deliberately that I'm going to solve this problem you know when everybody throws their hands in the air, put head and in the head and say, "Yo, oh, how do I go out of this uh, bills? How do I get out of this trouble? Yeah. How do I get out of this job situation? This business that's not going yeah. on. 
deliberately, intentionally, purposefully, yeah. you'd say to yourself, I'm going to sort it yeah. out. Yeah. You know, by hook or crook, <laughs> I'm going to make it happen. Last yeah. question. Mm. So your son, your daughter, your nephews are watching mm. this. What lessons have you learned out of this, your life experience? I mean, if you were to sort of say, these are the two lessons that I've learned for myself. You know, one big lesson is that um, um, you must, uh, when given an opportunity, you must use it to the fullest. Yeah. When you are presented with an opportunity to study mm. and you're not pushed by anything else to stop at the first degree, mm. go out, study until you get mm. to the highest possible uh, Level, qualification. Yeah of that particular career yeah. go out don't be uh, uh, pressured by the society mm. um, don't be pressured uh, by 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 friends by family mm. you know to rush into the job market mm. so that you can drive a fancy car mm. so that you can stay in the good suburb um, i think that 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 is what uh, that conventional way of growing up of, uh, um, you know, you get born and baptized and go to school and university, get married, to get a job mm. and die. Mm. That, that has uh, deprived us yeah. of lots of things uh, as a human being. Yeah. So get out there, navigate, express, explore your talents mm. um, to the highest uh, mm. level. So my message to the young people uh, be it in my family or mm. elsewhere, is to be steadfast, focus, be resilient, and get to the top of your game. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Mr. Maposa, thank you so much for your time. I mean, I can sense we can talk more and more. Yeah. But for the sake of time, I think we'll have part two one of these days. The part two <laughs> will be very little, 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 yeah. little. As I said, I'm not scratched the surface. surface yet, yeah. You're not giving it all. Um, I've been uh, hammered um, in many ways. Yeah. I've lost out in uh, many, many, many business activities, yeah. got into trouble in many business <laughs> activities, and um, it's shocking what we go through yeah. to get to the top. And here you still are standing. I'm still standing. <laughs> I'm still blessed. Yeah. And um, I call everybody to come to my world of Venaism, yeah. and uh, we always uh, have in sessions every month come and get uh, ins be inspired by yes. other people that form part of us. Awesome. Thank and you so much. Leadership. <laughs> Hola. Yeah, thanks. <laughs>